trees I use on the railroad are made out of a combination of polyfiber fill from Woodland Scenics and dark green coarse turf. The polyfiber fill comes in the bag in kind of a mat form, several clumps, which you can pull out of the bag. Now making a tree isn't as simple as just simply tearing off a clump of the stuff and saying, here's a tree, because you're going to use too much polyfiber fill. What you want to do is to get it as filmy as you can and just pick off little tiny wisps of it like you're picking lint off of your sweater. And the way you tell you have enough is you feel your palm of your hand where you're picking this lint off. You just feel it filling the palm of your hand with real wispy light stuff. So there's almost nothing in the palm of your hand at all by the time you do this. And then you just simply take it in your hand and roll it up like you're making a snowball and it forms into a clump. The next thing you do is get a pair of very ratty tweezers <laughs> because they're going to get coated with spray glue and just pick up this clump of foam. Next thing is now you know why you're picking it up with tweezers because you're going to coat it with spray glue and just a couple of quick bursts of spray glue as you go around. The less you get on yourself the easier it is to clean up. And take the tweezers and the clump and stick it inside the can and just shake it so that the coarse turf completely covers your little tree. And you want to be careful when you're spraying that uh, glue because it is toxic. Normally you should do it outside or at least use a, a paint respirator. That's absolutely correct. I, this is the first tree I've ever made without a respirator on for the camera. I can't talk through one. And when you're done, that's what you've got is a foam covered tree. Now it doesn't look like much, but when you put about 18,392,412,000 <laughs> of these on the railroad, it looks like much.